Hazy mess, smoking rollies in the back of an Acura Acting like we sober with the pigs on the back of us Swerving through suburbia, you're bleeding out of yes only urban to you, call cheese, I'm the call chief. Fucking boss your girl's eyes rolling B. Swear she ain't rode me on the road near the forest, but she forged for these nuts just for none. Now I'm busted, busted in your mama's house. Smack the taste out your mouth. Take the biscuits and dip them, then dip them in the tea that I'm spilling. Room spinning from the X, and my system pure sweating for a bop with my jaw swinging vicious. My girl crying on the phone, always oh, swear she a victim, cause her friend got evicted. Purple hickeys on my skin, always oh, blues like a peach. Just saw a click of the keys when I tweet. Black men don't cheat. Shoot. When it rains, it pours such a pity. Where you from in Dublin City? Don't be alone. Hi everyone, welcome, welcome to a new video. So it's currently actually pretty late, it's like 10, 10, 14. Dude, I like to sleep in, okay, it's my holidays, I can sleep in. However, yeah, today is going to be a writing vlog, I hope to get a lot of writing done. Today is a plotting day, so I'm very, very excited to plot Project Prison, which is kind of like a novella I've been writing, um, and I'm so, so excited, so I'm going to be working on that zero draft. But before we get writing, I am so, so excited to unbox a package I got from Epo Maker. And if you don't know who Epo Maker is, it's an online mechanical keyboard company, and they were able to send me one of their keyboards. So I have it right here and before we get writing of course I want to use it and see what it looks like so let's go ahead and open up the keyboard. Oh my goodness they literally sent me a Christmas card. How cute and adorable. So cute. Oh my gosh it's gorgeous. And it's so heavy too like I can definitely tell it's really Gosh. And also what's super great with this keyboard is that it's actually Bluetooth so I can actually connect it without any cables But on first look this looks beautiful. Look how pretty that is Okay guys, I think I am in love with it. It's so cute and beautiful. I think this is my favorite setting. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's honestly just so beautiful and I love it so, so much. So thank you so much Epo Maker for sending me one of your amazing, amazing keyboards. I think being a writer, it's honestly the best thing to get a mechanical keyboard and something that's really good quality like this because this will last you like basically forever and the way that you can really just like write and feel professional and feel like you're really committing to your art as a writer. It's something that I really want you guys to go ahead and do. So definitely um, check them out down below. I'll leave everything down below for you guys to buy your own keyboard today. But thank you so much Epo Maker for allowing me to have a new keyboard. So now I can write my book. So let's go ahead and get on to some writing. But um... Anyways, I need to stop obsessing over this. It's so pretty. Get one. Make sure you guys get one. Like, literally, it's changing my life. Um, people might think it's really hard for me to actually write with these nails. Um, I got my nails done for Christmas, and they're still going strong. It kind of does impact my writing a little bit. It makes it a little bit slower, um, but it doesn't really do much. Like, I've been able to write fine. The only thing I do miss about not having nails is I can't play my guitar. If you guys didn't know, I play guitar, and I like to write my own songs. So I've been missing singing and being able to write my own songs because I can't play guitar. I can write, I can do everything else, I can draw, I can journal, I just can't play my guitar. 
and it makes me so sad. However, in terms of like what I'm actually writing, of course I said I'm working on Project Prison. I'm gonna be getting it up right now. And with this project, I am very kind of close to the climax. Basically, if you guys didn't know Project Prison, it's basically where there's like these two inmates within a juvie. It's kind of like a prison slash juvie for like younger teenagers. And um, these two characters end up going in the same prison cell. Um, and then as they get to know each other, they realize that they actually both don't know why they were imprisoned. And it's later revealed that their cases are kind of linked and then they try to escape. I'm like very, very close to the part where they actually try to escape. And uh, it's gonna be emotional, heckity heck. I was also hoping, I'm not sure if you guys know, um, but do you know those books where there's like two main characters? I love main, two main characters. Like I can only write books with two main characters. Anyways, aside from that, I think it's so, so cool when one character gets like the POV and then halfway through the book, the other character gets the the half POV and that just seems so so fun so I'm not sure if my two main characters if it should switch or if I should like make it stay the same I don't know anyways um but I'm gonna be thinking about that very soon I'm up to chapter 11 so I think it would be really cool to kind of have the switch when they do escape to the other main character who I really really love she's my main character and like ah, I love her so so much it's going really great if you guys didn't know how I plot I basically plot like this where like um I have boxes I have a lot of different videos um I'll link it up in the iCard but I basically plot like this and this is kind of like my zero draft slash sort of my um Plotting, it's really really bizarre because within this sort of project I do have like dialogue and I do have stuff like what the characters are feeling what's actually going in with like with the monologue and stuff like that I have all that sort of stuff but it's not really comprehensible it kind of is like I could read this and understand it but someone else who read it would not understand it so it's just kind of like everything I really need it's just basically a very very solid zero draft essentially so yeah, so excited to write. I am kind of scared for what's gonna be happening next. So let's go ahead and get writing with my beautiful new... Oh my gosh, guys, I literally am obsessed. It's so pretty. I'm literally so embarrassing, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get writing and have a good morning writing session. So let's go.
everyone. Okay, so I have my tea, which is glorious. You guys know how much I love my tea. And of course, I just finished um, one hour of writing. And I still have an hour to go because if you didn't know, I've been trying to write for two hours um, every single day, every single morning, and it's working so far. So yeah, I've been writing for one hour and I think it's time for a break. So that's why I got my tea. And I also want to share with you some of my current reads that I've been reading um, this year. I really, really want to start like um, doing more chatty sort of videos and also bookish videos. So if you guys want like book related content, please let me know because I would love, love to talk about books. And I'm just like not sure if you guys are here for like writing content or like you wouldn't mind some bookish content. Let me know below. However, if you guys didn't know, it's my goal this year to read 99 books. If you guys don't follow me on Goodreads, definitely do. Or also on Instagram. I also post a lot about like the books I'm reading also on Instagram, so definitely check me out on Goodreads and Instagram. But yeah, my goal is to read 99 books this year, and that includes reading two books a week, roughly. But um, in terms of what I've read this year, the first book I read was actually a Moomin book. If you guys don't know Moomin, it's literally on my phone case. Literally, look, it's so adorable. That's Moomin. Moomin is kind of like a really cute, like fairy tale sort of story. And I love the animated series. You guys are probably know what it is. If you guys don't, definitely check it out. They have like the whole sort of series on YouTube. I love the 90s version. They have the whole compilation there. Um, but my sister Jess got me the actual Moomin book, which it's based on. So this is like the original and it's so beautiful. It's a hardcover and it's seriously the most prettiest thing because look, that's my favorite photo of all. If you guys are a Moomin fan, I hope you are, but Snuffkin's my favorite. He's like my favorite person in general. This was a five star read. I adored this book. The next book I read was The Trial by um, Franz Kafka and I got recommended um, Kafka by my friend um, Tiana and she's like my writing friend and she really loves Kafka so I was like I'm gonna give him a go. And also my collection of sort of classics books has increased. I'm not sure if you guys can see like up there, but I have my whole collection and I'm like building it and I love this book so, so much. Because if you didn't know, I'm actually um, studying law at university. So this is like a commentary on like how messed up the legal system is and just like law in general. And I was here for it. I really loved also like um, annotating some bits, which I haven't really tried to do, but like I love just underlining. And this book was so funny. If you guys want to laugh, read The Trial. It's sad and funny and I love it. It's great. And the third book I read this year was Hal's Moving Castle. I, I I love this book. It was so, so good. Hal in this book, I obviously really, really adore the Studio Ghibli um, film, which is, you know, Hal's Moving Castle. It's inspired from this book. But like, Hal is so different in here. Just like a narcissistic like queen and I love him. He's so funny. Like this man is so dramatic and I'm here for it. He kind of reminds me of myself and like how I actually am. But yeah, such a good book. The book I'm actually reading right now is Aurora's End. I have read the first two books, obviously. Look at my boy Finian. Isn't he glorious? Isn't he beautiful? I'm like more than halfway through. Um, I really want to finish this today, actually. So maybe after my writing session, I can do some reading. But the Aurora Cycle series, so good. Definitely recommend it if you love like fantasy slash sci-fi. This is like the funniest easiest to read sci-fi that I've ever tried to read <laughs> and it's really good so I'm really really enjoying this one. So yeah these are my current reads that I've been reading so far this year and yeah so so good. So yeah definitely comment down below if you guys want um, reading slash bookish content because I'd love to kind of like branch out my channel and yeah have writing videos obviously but also like bookish sort of content because they're also interrelated and um, relevant so let me know in the comments let me know. How about let's go ahead and get more plotting done. This book is kind of close to being done. I am stressing out because I actually have, as I said before, switched to Jody, who's the other character. And it's so cool seeing the difference between the character voices, um, between the other character Kyo and this character Jody, and just like how I can tell a different story because of course the two characters don't know what they did to get into the prison and to get into Juvie, but like 
even like their past and like what happened i've revealed so so much on both sides now that it's so so cool so i'm up to like chapter 12 which is so so fun and i hope to maybe finish this chapter within an hour and yeah hopefully we can get some more writing done and be productive and let's go ahead and get more writing done let's go Lazy Sunday mornings hiding under covers I don't mind staying in with you Play a favorite movie laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two The corner coffee shop we like to go Late night walks with you to take me home With you I never feel alone These little songs make me glad to call you mine And you have got my head in the clouds oh. One, two, three All that I need is your body next to me on rainy days Just need your company, don't need too much Just your simple love and it's Hey Riley friends, so I finally completed my two hours. Gosh, that took a long time. Sometimes I do have writing days where I'm just like, this is going on. Like the first hour is so good. And then the second hour is when I like literally need to try so hard to stay focused. Because sometimes I do get distracted and I was like today where I got distracted watching Phoebe Bridges And if you didn't know I'm a big Phoebe Bridges fan and I'm actually gonna be seeing her soon So I'm so excited um, because if you guys didn't know I listen to Phoebe when I write usually either Phoebe or just like thunder and brown sound or nothing yeah, so that's literally how I get motivated to write is I listen to Phoebe Bridges But with my writing session done, yeah, I completed what I needed to today Which was really really great and I got some really good progress I'll have a lot of fun writing in my next session So I'm kind of like building it up and then like I can make all these cool decisions as soon as I write next And it's gonna be so so fun. So I think I'm in a really good place with my plotting um, With this project, but that's the video. So this is kind of like my first vlog of 2023 and I'm so so excited Sorry for a bit chaotic um but i had so so much fun just like writing it chatting with you guys about my book and even unboxing this amazing keyboard again if you guys want a keyboard and i definitely recommend you buy one of these because they are so good they motivate me to write and they just make my desk setup look beautiful so i'll link that all down below if you guys want to definitely check out epo maker and thank you again epo maker for sending me one of your beautiful keyboards so anyways guys thank you so much for watching definitely subscribe if you did enjoy this vlog and i definitely hope to have more upcoming vlogs in the future i want to try to maybe do a vlog every week but i'm not sure how that's going to look um with my schedule as soon as i go back to uni so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this morning vlog and i hope to see you in my next one bye